What's good, fam? This your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to try to make a boom bap beat using just the MPC software and uh, MPC Studio Mark II, all right? So let's begin. So we're going to start this video with just a one bar sequence. We're going to start with a basic drum pattern and we're gonna build it off of that, okay? Then we're gonna add the sample. Uh, we may add a bass line, we may add a little melody, uh, but I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes, all right? So that you'll stay uh, engaged, all right? So let's start. I got my drum kit loaded up. All right, I have my buffer set quite high because uh, it takes up a lot of processing. This the software and plugins take up a lot of processing on my computer. My computer is fairly old, it's about 2014. So it's time for an upgrade. Looking to upgrade my Mac now, and let's start. We're gonna start with the hi hat. Then we're gonna move to the snare. And then we're gonna move to a kick, and we're gonna make a boom bap type pattern. So just watch what I'm doing, and a lot of the stuff I'm doing is stuff that have been in previous videos so watch a lot of my watch my videos i'll leave a playlist in the description below all right All right, so right now I have just a basic drum pattern. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on sequence and I'm gonna hit double length. That's gonna double this pattern right here. So now when I zoom back out, you'll see two bars. Okay, so now we're gonna double this again. So right click, hit double length. And now we got a four bar pattern, all right? So let's take this out, take this out. I'm gonna add a little snare roll here.
All right, so I have my sample on track two. Let's go to the sample edit page. If I hit play all, you can hear the sample. All right, so I already took the liberty of chopping this sample up just to save time. We'll go back to track two. All right, so for me to play this out, I'm gonna have to try to lower this buffer as much as I can. Let me try to do that right now. Give me a second. All right, so right now I'm just playing around with the sample, seeing what I want to do with it, with some drums behind it. So just bear with me for a second. Let me see what I can do. I think I know what I want to do, but we're going to have to upgrade this to eight bars now. We're going to double length. We're going to turn the timing and the quantization off. All right, now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to probably mess this up a couple times. So just bear with me. And I'm going to have, probably have to do a little bit of editing on this because I'm playing it freehand. So just give me a second. See, that's not even what I wanted to do. Hold on. Okay, that came out just, just how I wanted almost. All right, that turned out a little bit better than I thought it would. Okay, um, so now what we're gonna do is sometimes a lot of people will say, "Well, how do you find the, uh, how do you find the key of the sample?" So I can start adding the bass and start adding keys and all sorts of stuff to, you know, the icing on the cake, so to speak. So, being that I got this loop from Loop Cloud, I'll leave a link in the description for that. If you're interested, if you like the loop that I just played you, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's called Loop Cloud. And with all the loops in Loop Cloud, they usually have the, um, the key and the tempo embedded in the information. So, this is the sample right here that I took from Loot Cloud. It tells me it's 124 beats a minute and that it's in the key of F minor, all right? But just because it's in the key of F minor doesn't mean I'm just gonna hit the F key and everything's gonna be good, right? So here's what I like to do, all right? This this sample here is is was turned into a program. This program is right here. Matter of fact, let's rename it.
All right, so it's called sample, key F minor, and the original BPM was 124. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a... Right here is my program. I want to add a tuner to this, okay? So that when I add the tuner to this, it's going to analyze what I just played back, and it's going to tell me the key of what I was playing, all right? You'll see. Hold on one second. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into my VSTs. Most most DAWs will have a D, uh, will have a tuner built in somewhere for like guitar players. So just check your DAW. I purchased one from a company called Brainworks. It's called uh, there's one called Crispy Tuner and just one called Tuner. I think I'm gonna just do Tuner right now. So let's hit Tuner. I'm going to raise my buffer back up because I know I'm going to have some playback uh, issues. All right, so this is like a guitar bass tuner. And it's going to tell us the key of our sample. So here we go, I'm gonna play it now. So it looks like I'm gonna be F and C. All right, so we're gonna try something. Right now I'm in the program here where it says global semi-tune. I'm gonna try to tune it downward. Right now it's pitched up one. I'm gonna tune it down a couple. And we're gonna see if it's. Okay, so yeah, that actually does work. Part of my phone ringing. All right, so it's basically F and C, right? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to track, I'm gonna go to empty track. I'm going to add a bass. All right, so I'm going to make it so that the root note for, root note is F. It's in natural minor. I'm going to lower my buffer size again. Sorry, I have to keep doing this, but uh, otherwise you're going to hear a lot of popping and crackling and I'm trying to minimize that as much as possible and try to give you this content
I'm, I'm about to end it here because I hear the crackling and popping already. So just this is just to give you a basic rundown of how it goes. Quantize off. So, yeah, this is how I, you know, this is how I begin my process of making a boom bap beat inside the MPC software. Sorry, it's about, sorry my software is crackling down on me. My computer is a little bit slower than probably yours. You probably have a 2020-something. I'm still running in the early 2010s, and hopefully I can upgrade this computer soon. This computer has about 16 gigs of RAM. And I need about 64 to do what I want to do. So, um, sorry about that, fellas and ladies. Um, but if you like the content, click the like button below. Comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments. Uh, make sure you check the description. All my links are in the description for, you know, all my affiliate stuff. Um, if you want to support the channel, supporting the channel will help me get a new computer upgrade. So I could present better content to you without the computer crackling and popping. All right. I appreciate you watching. This is Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com. Music production tips. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'm out. Peace. And make sure you get my free drum kit. All right. The first link in the description will be my free drum kit. Peace out.